All right, folks, gather round. Welcome back to the channel, and a huge hello to everyone tuning in today. Seriously, wherever you are in the world, I genuinely hope you're feeling fantastic, full of energy, and taking good care of yourself. Health is everything, so sending you all the best vibes for a happy and healthy day. Now, buckle up, because today's question is a real humdinger that takes us on an incredible journey back in time, way, way further back than you probably imagine. We're talking about the true ancients, the Methuselahs of the plant world. What is the oldest living plant? You might immediately think of giant trees, like those massive redwoods or bristlecone pines you've maybe seen pictures of. And you'd be on the right track, sort of. But the answer to oldest living plant gets really fascinating, and honestly, a bit mind-blowing, mind because it depends on how we define individual and living. It's not always as simple as finding one single trunk that's been standing for millennia, though that happens too. Get ready to have your perception of time stretched. First off, let's talk about the champions we can see and touch above ground the trees that have stood witness to centuries, even millennia, of history. These are the individuals, the single organisms that started as one seed and just kept growing and growing. The undisputed heavyweight champion in this category is a tree you've probably heard of, the Great Basin Bristlecone Pine, specifically a tree nicknamed Methuselah. This incredible survivor lives high up in the White Mountains of California in a place that's harsh, dry, and rocky. Scientists have carefully studied its growth rings, those circles you see when you cut a tree trunk, and guess what? Methuselah is confirmed to be over 4,800 years old. Wrap your head around that. This tree was already ancient when the pyramids of Egypt were being built. It was a sapling when Stonehenge was just an idea. It weathered countless storms, droughts, and changes in climate long before humans even began recording history as we know it. They keep its exact location a bit of a secret to protect it, which is totally understandable. Just imagine standing next to something that has been alive for almost 5,000 years. The sheer resilience is staggering. It survives survives in such a tough environment partly because it's tough. The slow growth caused by the harsh conditions makes its wood incredibly dense and resistant to rot, insects, and even fire. But hold on, Methuselah might not even be the oldest individual tree. There's another bristlecone pine discovered more recently, known only by a number, to protect it, that scientists believe might be over 5,000 years old. The exact dating is still being confirmed with great care, but the possibility is there. These bristlecone pines are masters of endurance. They grow incredibly slowly, sometimes adding less than an inch of girth in a century. Their gnarled, twisted forms aren't just for show, they're the result of weathering unimaginable forces over millennia. Parts of the tree might die back, but other sections cling fiercely to life, conserving every precious drop of water and nutrient. It's a strategy of minimalism and incredible patience perfected over ages. Seeing one is like looking directly into deep, deep time. Now, this is where things get really wild. While Methuselah and its possibly older cousin are astonishing individuals, there's a whole different category of oldest living plant that operates on an entirely different scale. This involves clonal colonies. Forget thinking about a single trunk. Imagine instead a vast network, all originating from one original seed, spreading out underground. What looks like a forest of individual trees above ground is actually one single, gigantic organism connected by a shared root system. The individual stems or trunks, called ramets, might come and go, living for hundreds of years and then dying, but the root system itself, the original genetic individual, just keeps on going, sending up new stems.
stems generation after generation after generation. It's like an immortal underground being that periodically sends up shoots to interact with the world above. The most famous example of this is Pando. Pando lives in Utah, in the Fish Lake National Forest. From above, it looks like a beautiful, quaking aspen forest covering about 106 acres, that's roughly 80 American football fields. But here's the incredible secret. Genetic testing has proven that every single one of those estimated 47,000 aspen stems is a clone. They are all genetically identical shoots sprouting from one single, massive root system. Scientists estimate Pando's root system, the original organism, to be at least 80,000 years old, and some estimates push it towards an astonishing 1 million years. Yes, you heard that right, potentially 1 million years old. Pando was already ancient when modern humans first migrated out of Africa. It survived multiple ice ages, watching glaciers come and go. Its root system, hidden safely underground, endured climate shifts that wiped out countless other species. While individual stems might only live 100 to 150 years, as one dies, the root system sends up new ones nearby. It's a continuous cycle of renewal, making the organism essentially immortal, barring a catastrophic event. Pando is often called the trembling giant, and it truly is one of the largest and oldest living things on Earth. Its age is estimated based on its current si size, its known growth rate, and the history of its environment. Protecting Pando is crucial, as threats like drought, insects, and human activity, like grazing preventing new shoots from growing tall, challenge its ancient existence. But the clonal contenders don't stop there. Moving across the globe, let's head to Sweden. In the province of Dalarna, there's a humble-looking Norway spruce tree nicknamed Old Chico. When scientists first studied it, they thought it was just a few hundred years old based on its trunk. But then they looked deeper, literally. By carbon dating the root system under this tree, they made a stunning discovery. While the visible trunk is relatively young, the root system itself is a staggering 9,550 years old, as of 2024. Like Pando, Old Chico is a clonal tree. The original tree from that ancient root died millennia ago, but the root system survived. It lay dormant, perhaps as just roots underground, for centuries during colder periods. Then, as the climate warmed after the last ice age, around 9,550 years ago, it sprouted a new stem. That stem lived its life and died, but the root sent up another, and another, and another, right up to the trunk we see today. So, the genetic individual, the root system originating from one seed nearly 10,000 years ago, is still alive and kicking. It's a powerful testament to the resilience of life, capable of biding its time underground through harsh eras, waiting for the right moment to reach for the, the sun again. Imagine that root system, quietly persisting under the soil, witnessing the entire sweep of human civilization from the dawn of agriculture to the space age. And the list of ancient clonal colonies keeps going. Back in the United States, in the Jerupa Mountains of California, there's another remarkable survivor, the Jerupa Oak, or King Clone Creosote Bush. Creosote bushes are common desert shrubs, but this specific colony is anything but common. Genetic analysis shows it's a single clonal individual, spreading out in a large ring roughly 67 feet in diameter. How do they date it? by measuring how fast the ring expands outward. Creosote bushes grow slowly outward from the center as the older inner parts die off. By calculating this expansion rate, scientists estimate this single creosote bush clone is approximately 11,700 years old. 
That means this unassuming desert shrub started its life as the last ice age was ending. It has survived the entire Holocene epoch, the entire span of time since the glaciers retreated and human civilization began. It's a master of desert survival, much like the cacti we talked about before, but with the added superpower of clonal longevity. Its simple, resilient form hides an epic history. So, who wins the title? It depends entirely on the definition. 1. Oldest non-clonal individual, single trunk the crown goes to the bristlecone pines like Methuselah and its possibly older sibling, clocking in at over 4,800 years and maybe 5,000 plus. 2. Oldest clonal colony, genetic individual, individual here, Pando, 80,000 plus years, old Chico's root system, 9,550 years, and the Jerupa Oak, 11,700 years, are the superstars, with Pando potentially being the oldest known organism on Earth by total age. Understanding how these plants achieve such mind-boggling ages is key. For the individual trees like the bristlecone pines, it's a combination of factors, extreme environments, harsh conditions like cold, dry, Windy mountaintops or nutrient-poor soil actually help by slowing growth. Slow growth produces incredibly dense, resinous wood that's highly resistant to rot, fungi, insects, and fire. It's like building a fortress slowly, brick by incredibly strong brick, compartmentalization. If part of the tree is damaged by lightning, wind, or disease, the tree can effectively seal off that wounded section. The rest of the tree keeps living, even if a huge portion is dead wood. It's not one life, but many interconnected zones, minimalism, they don't grow fast or produce huge amounts of leaves. They conserve energy and resource, resources, focusing only on essential functions. They can survive with very little water and nutrients, and resilience, they have an extraordinary ability to endure stress, drought, freezing temperatures, high winds. They just persist. For the clonal colonies, the strategy is fundamentally different. The hidden perennial root, the key to immortality lies below ground. The root system is protected from fire, severe weather, and even grazing above ground. It stores energy and can survive even if every single above ground stem is destroyed, vegetative reproduction instead of relying solely on seeds, which might not germinate in tough conditions, they constantly send up new genetically identical stems, ramets, from their root system. As older stems die, new ones replace them nearby, dormancy, like old Chico's roots, they can lie dormant during unfavorable periods, extreme cold or drought, for decades or even centuries, conserving energy until conditions improve. And shared resources, the interconnected root network allows the colony to share water and nutrients efficiently. A stem in a good spot can support others in poorer areas, acting like one giant, cooperative organism. Finding and confirming the age of these ancients is a science in itself. Dendrochronology, tree ring dating, is the gold standard for individual trees like the bristlecone pines. Each ring typically represents one year of growth. By carefully extracting a thin core, without harming the tree, and counting and measuring the rings under a microscope, scientists get an incredibly precise age. For clonal colonies, it's trickier. Genetics, samples taken from stems across the colony are analyzed to prove they are all genetically identical clones from one original source, radiocarbon dating used on the oldest wood found at the center of a clonal ring, like the Jerupa oak, or directly on root material, like old Jico. This measures the decay of radioactive carbon-14 to estimate when that wood was formed, and growth rate, rate modeling. Scientists measure how fast the colony expands, e.g., the creosote bush ring, and calculate backwards to estimate when it must have started from a central point. 
These ancient plants are far more than just record holders. They are irreplaceable treasures and vital scientific resources. They are living libraries of climate history. The width and chemistry of their growth rings, in individuals, provide incredibly detailed, year-by-year -year records of past climates, rainfall, temperature, even atmospheric events like volcanic eruptions, stretching back thousands of years. They are biodiversity hotspots. Ancient forests like those containing pando or old-growth stands with bristlecone pines support unique ecosystems adapted over millennia. They provide critical habitat. They are natural wonders and cultural icons. They inspire awe and remind us of the vast scales of time on our planet. They hold deep cultural significance for indigenous peoples. Most importantly, they are proof of extreme resilience. They demonstrate life's incredible capacity to adapt and endure through the most challenging circumstances over geological timescales. They offer hope and lessons in persistence. Sadly, these ancient survivors face modern threats, climate change, rapid shifts in temperature and precipitation patterns, increased droughts, and more intense wildfires can push even these resilient organisms beyond their limits. Pando is already struggling with drought and reduced new growth, human development and recreation, habitat destruction, pollution, and even well-meaning tourists compacting soil or damaging roots pose significant risks. The secrecy around Methuselah's location highlights this concern, disease and pests, newly introduced insects or pathogens, sometimes exacerbated by climate stress, can devastate populations that haven't evolved defenses against them, and grazing pressure, as mentioned with Pando, Animals like deer or cattle eating young shoots prevent the clonal colonies from regenerating and expanding. Protecting them requires active conservation, strict protection of habitats, establishing and enforcing protected areas around known ancient individuals and colonies, scientific monitoring, continuously studying their health, growth, and responses to environmental changes, public education, teaching people about their significance and fragility to encourage responsible visitation and support, and addressing climate change. Global efforts to mitigate the most severe climate impacts are crucial for their long-term survival. So, when you ask what is the oldest living plant, the answer isn't simple, but it's profoundly beautiful. It could be a gnarled, wind-sculpted pine high on a mountain peak, a single entity witnessing millennia. Or it could be a vast, trembling aspen forest singing in the wind, all stemming from one ancient, hidden heart beating for tens of thousands of years. It could be a lonely spruce trunk in Sweden, connected to roots nearly ten millennia old, or a ring of creosote bushes in the desert, slowly expanding since the ice retreated. These plants defy our everyday understanding of time and life. They connect us to the deep past in a way no fossil or history book ever can. They are silent giants and hidden networks, whispering stories of endurance, adaptation, and the sheer, unstoppable force of life on Earth. They remind us that we are but fleeting visitors on a planet where life has found ways to persist through epochs. The next time you see an old tree, take a moment. It might not be thousands of years old, but it carries the same spirit of resilience. And who knows, maybe somewhere nearby, hidden beneath the soil, lies the root of an ancient being, quietly waiting for its next chapter in the endless story of life. Thanks so much for joining me on this journey through deep time today. It blows my mind every single time. Take care of yourselves, stay curious, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.